I hope you've had a good Monday and have enjoyed your learning today. I'm going to read you a story called Itchy Bear, which is by an author called Neil Griffiths. He has the same surname as our headmaster, Mr Griffiths, but they're not related, I don't think. I will double check with Mr Griffiths, but I'm pretty sure they're not related. He just happens to have the same name. But I have actually met Neil Griffiths, the author of this book. When I was working at a school in London, he came to visit the school I was working at. And he read lots of his stories to the children at that school. And I went and met him and I actually got the book from him that day. So let's read the story together. This story does have some words, but you have to also look really hard at the pictures because the pictures will also tell you what's going on. So I will try and keep the pictures nice and close so you can see them. Itchy Bear. Bear was enjoying a nice long sleep. In fact, he would have slept all day long if he hadn't begun to itch. And it was no ordinary itch. Do you see the butterfly on his toes? Keep an eye on that butterfly. It started between his toes and then behind his ears and then under his chin and soon he was itching all over. I must find somewhere for a good scratch, he thought. He found the perfect rock for scratching a bear's bottom. Oh, lovely, thought Bear. Do you mind? cried a mole, appearing from out of a small mound of soil nearby. I'm trying to do some serious digging down here. Go and scratch somewhere else. Oh dear, thought Bear. Then he spotted the perfect branch for scratching behind a bear's ears. Oh, wonderful, thought Bear. Excuse me, shrieked a tawny owl, peering out from a dark hole in the tree trunk. I like to sleep during the day and you've just woken me up. Go and scratch somewhere else. Oh dear, dear, thought Bear. Then he saw the perfect log for scratching a bear's tummy. Oh, heavenly, thought Bear. What's going on? yelled a squirrel from inside the log. I'm trying to cut my hazelnuts here. Go and scratch somewhere else. Oh dear, 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 thought Bear. Then he found the perfect pile of twigs for scratching between a bear's toes. Just when he was about to start scratching. Oi, hand me back that twig, demanded a teeny tiny millipede. That's part of the roof to our house. Go and scratch somewhere else. Oh dear, 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 thought Bear. You see that butterfly is still on him. It's been on him for the whole story, tickling him all over. Pesky butterfly. Then Bear discovered the perfect tree trunk for scratching a bear's back. Is there anyone there? asked Bear cautiously. Bear looked all around to make sure. Oh good, he thought. At last I can have a jolly good scratch. Scratch, 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 scratch. Oh, disaster. Oh, this isn't my day, thought Bear. At least he'd stopped itching at last, and the apples tasted simply delicious. And if you can tell me by looking at this picture why Bear has stopped itching at last, comment on the bottom of this story and tell me why is the butterfly not itching him anymore? Hmm. Wow, that was a lovely story and I particularly enjoyed reading it because I had met the author Neil Griffiths many, many years ago when I was working in London. Have you ever met any authors? I'd love to hear from you if you have. Let me know. Let me know which authors you've met and where and when you met them. And I'll see you tomorrow for another story. Bye.